word, okay? The accent is part of the spelling of the word. If you have a word that you see there in your list, lapis, okay? Lapis, that's an accent, okay? Not quite that big, all right? <laughs> Not quite that big, all right? But that's part of the spelling of the word. Just like the word C, okay? C with the accent means yes, yes. okay? C without the accent means if, okay? If, very important, yes, okay? George calls her up, says, you want to go out? She can say yes, or she can say if. You have a Corvette, and we go to a you know five-star restaurant. Yes, okay. Big difference. Big difference. Yes. Okay. So autobus. What's the article in front of the autobus? L. L. Okay. What's the next word? El chico. Okay. El chico. And we looked at the ch as a separate letter of the alphabet. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, El Chico can also change to the feminine, which is? La Chica. La Chica, si. La Chica. So we're learning something now in that we have an L and a La. All right. Well, those are the articles, okay? El, La. They both mean the, okay? In English, we say the girl, the girls, the boy, the boys. We don't make any distinction at all between girl and boy with the article. Spanish does all the time. Because in Spanish, you're going to hear this often, okay? There is a masculine, okay? And there's also a feminine, yes? And F-E-M, -E yes, okay? Feminine. There's also a singular, okay? And there's also a plural, all right? We're going to use these words all the time to identify things. Masculine, feminine, singular, plural. When it comes to nouns, person, place, or thing. Autobus, chico, chica. So we see el chico, that's the masculine article, article, la is the feminine, article. article. This is singular. These are singular. Yes? Okay? To make el chico plural, how are we going to do that? Uh, los or las. Like, los or las. Yes? Okay, well, el, the plural of el is what? Los. Los, okay? And we're going to add an s. We're going to add an s because this word ends in a vowel. Try to stay awake, okay? If you find yourself, you know, nodding, or the eyes, lids closing, whatever, stand up, walk around, whatever. Yes? Can you change the name? Como te amas? Como te amas? Denitra or D? Denitra, D, D, D. Go, okay, D. Because you, you sat over here the last time. Yes. yes. Okay, D, go. When you change it to plural, I know the accent are over. Some of them, do the accent stay over the same letters when they're plural? Hang on. Excellent segue into autobus into autobus, okay? We have El Chico, Los Chicos. Well, there were no accents here. El Autobus, we changed that to what? Los what? Autobuses. And we drop the accent. We drop the accent. There are a few words that keep the accent in Spanish, but most drop the accent from the singular to the plural, okay? Most drop the accent from the singular to the plural, okay? Don't get all hung up about this, okay? Just focus on the word, okay? The L, singular, masculine, los, plural, masculine. If the word ends in a vowel, we add S. Well, what did we do here when it ended in a consonant? We added ES. So any word that ends in a vowel, you're going to make it plural by adding an S. If it ends in a vowel, okay, an S. If it ends in a consonant, you're going to add ES. Simple rule, yes? Mm -hmm. Simple rule. Okay, so L, los. L, los. Okay, la, plural of la is? Las. Las. And then what? Chicas. 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 What's the next word down? La computadora. La computadora. The plural of la computadora is going to be? La. Las computadoras. Okay. Next. La. La. La comunidad. La comunidad. Okay. La comunidad. La comunidad. D-A-D. If it ends in D-A-D, it's probably going to be feminine. Okay, if it ends in D-A-D. So now we can say most words that end in A are feminine. Most words that end in D-A-D are feminine. This is also a cognate. What's a cognate? 
It's a word that's similar in both languages. Similar in both languages. The DAD, the DAD in Spanish is the same as the TY in English. So you look at this, pronounce it in English, community. Okay? If I said what is sociedad, you would say it's society. society. Nacionalidad, nationality. nationality, which is one of our words in the end section going down the list. Yes? Nacionalidad. It's also a feminine word. So you're going to say plural here. Las what? Las na what? Sio nacio na li what? Whoa, we don't have enough room here. Okay, masculine, singular. Here we go. Nacionalidad what? That's a consonant. So we're going to add an yes. es. Las nacionalidades. Las nacionalidades. Okay. I think you made the wrong word. Yeah. I made the wrong word. Nacionalidades. I made what? Oh, community. I'm sorry. I was saying nacionalidades. Beautiful. <laughs> Stay on that. Yes, that's beautiful. All right. Keep me on the right on the right track, okay? Because it gets toward nine o'clock. I get a little fuzzy, okay? Some of you are getting a little fuzzy too, okay? All right. So let's do it with comunidades then. What is it going to be? Co mu what? Ni da this. Comunidades. Yes, beautiful. Thank you. ¿Cómo te llamas? Curtis. Curtis? Yeah. Curtis. Muy bien, Curtis. Gracias, gracias. Okay. Next word down. What is it? Cosa? Well, cosa. We have cosa, which fits into cosa, chica. Okay, ends in an A. So it's la cosa. So the plural is going to be? Las cosas. Las cosas. Yes? Las cosas. Yeah. Okay, what's the next one then? Uh, Go ahead. L or la. Ah, okay. So we have a L, okay. L con what? Duc tor. So the O-R, the O-R is going to tell us it's masculine. Very similar to what other word in the P's there? Hmm? Profesor. Profesor, exactly. Profesor. Okay, conductor, professor. And you can look at this. This is another cognate. All right, con, what's this word in English? Conduct. conduct. So he's a conductor. Okay, conductor. All right, professor. Okay, same thing. Okay, we go, I'm dyslexic. We can do this again. Here we are. Okay, P R O F E S O R. And remember, the Spanish spells it with one F. One F. By the way, there's no two S's in Spanish either. None of the words in Spanish uh, have a 2S, like we have M-I-S-S-I, S-S-I-P-P, you know, Mississippi, and we have uh, a lot of words that have double S. There's no double S in Spanish. But for now, the F, okay? The F, by the way, the F is also the PH, okay? Is the PH, we're not talking about basic and acidic, okay? We're talking about what? The sound, okay? In English, we say what? Foto, yes? In Spanish, it's what? Foto, the PH in Spanish is F. Uh, the PH in English is F in Spanish, yes? Okay, these are just little trivia I throw in there, but we'll pick these up as we go along. So, el conductor, okay? El profesor. Well, how do we make this feminine? Okay, la, what? Con, duc, to, ra. La conductora. Hence, we're going to do what? El profesor becomes la, what? Profesora. Good. All right? So it says el la, okay? And it has the a in parentheses there. But this is what it means. El conductor, the masculine, okay? La conductora, the feminine. Go down to the T's. There's one there in the T's, okay? There's one there in the T's that has an L slash la. Okay, what is that? El la, okay, turista, si, turista, so it's going to be el turista or la turista, okay, well, it's either or, it depends, he's an el turista, el turista, you're a la turista, because you're feminine, yes, okay, because you're the feminine, so we're always going to be talking about masculine, feminine, singular, plural, all right, if I said the tourists, if they're all women, if they're all women, the tourist, it's going to be what? La turistas, see, las turistas, las turistas, 
Okay? If they're all guys, it's going to be what? Los, Los to these tas. But if it's a mixture of girls and guys, it's going to be los turistas. Really? Okay? Really. There's another one there in the E's. In the E's. What does it say there in the E's? It's an L and it's also a la. What is that? Estudiante. Si. Estudiante. All right? Estudiante. So L or la estudiante. So, uh, la estudiante que se sienta en frente de la clase, the student that sits in the front of the class, I'm saying la estudiante, I'm referring to her, okay? I'm referring to her, okay? El estudiante que se sienta en frente de la clase, okay? It's él, it's him, okay? He's the student, yes? So it depends on the gender, on the gender, yes? That could be kind of confusing because you don't change the E or A, on the end of the word. No, 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 you don't. Words. But I mean, some you do, some you don't. Some you do, some you don't, okay? Uh, you just have to learn that. Like, estudiante ends in a vowel, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're not going to make much of a change there, okay? Profesor, profesora, uh, we add an A for the feminine, okay? Leave it as is, profesor, conductor, for the masculine, okay? Just something that has to be learned. It just takes time. It takes time, okay? All right. So these are what are called definite articles. Definite articles, okay? I walk into the library, I say, I want the book on waterfalls. The librarian goes right to the stack there, she pulls it out, here it is. I want the book, because it's a definite book on waterfalls, okay? But if I walk in the library and I say, I want a book on waterfalls, she says, well, which one? We've got 12, okay? Uh, we happen to have a few on reserve here. Do you want the book that talks about this, or do you want the book? No, I want a book. I don't care which book it is. So it's an indefinite article. It's an ind We put labels on all these words. We put labels so we know what we're talking about. That's why we call this a noun, sustantivo. That's why we call this an article, uh, articulo, articulo, okay? And this is articulo definido, definido, okay? The indefinite article, the indefinite article then, Okay, let's take the L and the La and the Los and the Las off of here, okay? And see, uh, I took a bus yesterday. What are we going to say? A bus. This is the bus, L. L is the bus. I took a bus. A bus is what? An indefinite article. What does the text tell you? Those of you that studied diligently last night before you came to class. Yes. I don't remember. Un, yes. Okay, he's right on target. Un, okay. So, un is the indefinite article. That's the in, a bus. I take a bus to school. Yo tomo un, un autobús a la escuela. Okay, un, all right. Uh, I know a guy, uh, he's from Chicago. Yo conozco a un, a what? Uh, I know a guy, what's a guy? Un, yes. Don't be bashful. Don't be bashful. <laughs> you can speak up. Speak up. All right. Bien, bien, bien. Even if you're sitting in the back row, it's okay. All right. What about a girl? I know a girl from Chicago. Una. Una. Exactly. Una. We'll get this right. Okay. Una chica. So una and una. Singular. Una and una. Singular. A. Uh, a. Uh, or a. Or an. Okay. It depends upon how it is in a sentence in English. Okay. All right. All right. How about the plural? Well, there are some communities. There are some communities that lack uh, parks. Okay. Some communities. The plural of "a" is not "us," right? It's what? It's some, isn't it? Isn't it? When you think about it, that's your indefinite article. Indefinite article. Plural. Okay. Some communities. Okay. Well, first of all, this is DAD. We knew it was a "la," which told us it was feminine, so you have to know these words are masculine or feminine, so now you can say, there are some communities I, what? I unas unas comunidades, there are some communities, okay there are some communities right? how about, there are some uh, conductors I conductors, let's make this uh, plural Let's make this plural. How do we make this plural? Ends in a consonant, so we add a ES, yes. okay? ES. So conductores, 
there are some conductors, this is going to be what? Unos. Unos. Okay? So we have un, una, okay? Unas, unos. Okay? Comprende? Repita por favor, el autobús. El, el chico, el la, chico. Chica, la chica, la chi, las chicas, la chica, los, chicos, los chicos, los autobuses. Los autobuses. Now we go to the indefinite article, some or a, a, a bus, okay, remita un autobús, un chico, una chica, unas comunidades. Ah, somebody didn't correct me back there. Who was it again? Uh, Huh, Kurt, you got to stay with it now, okay? Keep me, keep me honest here, okay? I, unas, there are some communities, comunidades, okay? There are some communities, okay? There are some uh, drivers, conductors, I, unos conductores. Repita, por favor, okay? Una comunidad. Una comunidad. Which means? A community. Unas comunidades, which means? Some, some communities, okay? Un conductor, which means? Uh, un conductor, which means? Uh, a driver, a conductor, okay? Uh, Unos conductores, which means? Some drivers. some drivers, some conductors. I strongly recommend that you look at the tutorials. I strongly recommend that you look at the, it's a little cartoon character that's not quite as goofy as I am that's going through this whole thing, okay? And he goes through the articles, tutorials for the articles, and there's a tutorial for every one of the little grammar sequences, yes? This just happens to be nouns and articles. This just happens to be nouns and articles. So we have definite articles, and they are? Definite articles, and they are? El, la, los, las. We have indefinite articles, and they are un, una, unos, and unas. Muy bien. Okay? All right. And let's see if this worked. Okay?